What's up everybody, this is Jordan again, and I'm back at the Sonduck Film Studio with another After Effects tutorial. I didn't need to break into the studio this time because the last time I was here I made a copy of Josh's keys. So this tutorial is all about creating your own custom logo animation. We're gonna be going through four techniques that you can use or not to customize any of the logos that you might be working with. Every logo is different, and each animation will depend on the branding and the design of the logo. So no matter what, this tutorial has you covered. As always, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot, and it keeps the lights at my house running. You don't live in a house, you live in a cardboard box. All right, so the first thing we gotta do before we start animating is get our logo layer set up properly. For this tutorial, I'm using a logo that's in the form of an Illustrator file, but it will still work with other types of files as well. If you're using an Illustrator file like me, be sure to set it up properly in Illustrator. You want to make sure that each part of the logo that you want to animate is separated into their own layers like this. If you have text in your Illustrator file that you want to move over as well, all you need to do is highlight the text, press Ctrl C to copy it, then in After Effects select the text tool, click anywhere on the composition, and press Ctrl V to paste it, then you can adjust it to fit the composition accordingly. If you have a title inside of a JPEG or PNG file, you can't copy paste it. Just try your best to recreate it with the text tool in After Effects. Now that we have our logo and text set up, we need to start separating our logo into multiple parts to be individually animated. To do this, highlight your logo layer, then select the pen tool, then start drawing an outline around the part of your logo that you want to separate. Once you've finished masking out the part, duplicate the layer, then delete the mask that you just made, and use the pen tool to create a new mask around the part of the logo that you want to animate. Now duplicate the layer one more time, delete the mask again, and mask out the last part of the logo with the pen tool, and continue repeating this step if your logo has more parts than the ones that we're using. Go through each of the parts you just made, and use the pan behind tool to put the anchor point at the center of each part so that it will animate properly. Lastly, make sure you rename each part of the logo so that you can keep track of which part is which. Next up, we're going to animate some of the parts of the logo and use a null object to animate the logo as a whole. First, we'll select the logo top, press P for position, set a keyframe, move forward a bit in the timeline, set another keyframe, then go back to the first keyframe and move the top of the logo far off of the screen. Now highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes, open the graph editor tool and drag both sides of the curve all the way inwards to smooth out the animation. Next, highlight the bottom of the logo, press S to adjust the scale, set a keyframe, move forward a bit again, set another keyframe, then go back to the first keyframe and set the scale to 0%. Make sure the keyframes are easy ease and use the graph editor tool to smooth them out again. Now create a null object by going to layer, new, null object, Highlight all parts of your logo, then use the Pick Whip tool to parent them to the null object. Highlight the null object, press R for rotation. I'm going to set the rotation to negative 45 degrees so that the logo starts upright for me. Then set a keyframe, move forward a bit again, set the rotation to 360 degrees, then make the keyframes easy ease and edit the speed graphs again. And after setting up these first few animations, you can see what our logo animation looks like so far. If you like the style of motion graphics in this video and you want a quick and easy way to add them to your projects with a click of a button, check out our Sonduck logo pack. It includes 100 advanced and professional logo animations to enhance your projects and make them stand out. With our easy to use Atomx extension, all you have to do is find a graphic you like and hit apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can easily customize the logo with our simple to use control layers and edit the different elements to fit your needs. And just like that, you have an awesome logo animation to use in your projects. Check out the link in the description or visit sonduckfilm.com for more info. Now we're going to animate the center of our logo, but it's a bit more complicated than how we animated the other parts. First, take the top, bottom, and null object layers and move them out a bit on the timeline so that they start their animation after the center's animation. Now go to Layer, New, Solid, name the solid to Matte, click OK, put it above the middle part, toggle its visibility off, select the Pen tool, then create a mask on the matte layer that is roughly the same shape as the middle part. Toggle the visibility back on, go to Effect, Generate, Stroke, make sure Path is set to Mask 1, set Paint Style to Reveal Original Image, and increase the brush size until the stroke covers the entire shape. Set a keyframe for End, set End to 0%, move forward a bit in the timeline, set End to 100%, smooth out the animation with the Graph Editor tool again, then toggle the visibility for the matte one more time. Click Toggle Switches and Modes until you see the Track Matte drop down, set the Track Matte for Logo Middle to Alpha Matte, highlight Logo Middle, then go to Edit, 
split layer and remove the track mat from the new layer. Highlight the original and matte layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate them, offset them a bit on the timeline, then highlight the original logo middle again, then go to Effect, Generate, Fill, and set the fill color to white. Now that we have the stroke effect set up, you can see the entire logo animation put together. Now that our logo is completely animated, we're going to add a nice 3D reveal animation for our text layers. Start by opening your text layer, click the arrow next to Animate, select Enable Per Character 3D, then click the arrow again and select Rotation, click the arrow next to Add, and select Property, then Opacity. Set the Y rotation to 90 degrees, Opacity to 0, open the Range Selector, set a keyframe for Start, move forward a bit in the timeline, set Start to 100%, then make the keyframes easy ease and smooth out the animation with a graph editor. Lastly, copy the animator from the first title by pressing Ctrl C, then paste it onto your other text layer at the start of the timeline with Ctrl V, and offset both text layers on the timeline so that they happen after the logo animation. And now you have these awesome logo animation techniques to use on your own logos for your projects in After Effects. And now you have a bunch of different techniques to help animate your logo. Keep it simple or complex. If you need ideas, you can check out our 100 logos pack. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more production tutorials every week. And remember, always be creative.